Hello. This video is about FileZilla server regarding virtual folders. The scenario is when we connecting remotely to FileZilla FTP server, we have a very messy view of folders and files. The reason for this is a wrong configuration of home folder. When when that happened, everything inside this folder will be displayed, including all the folders that in the home directory. All will be, all will be displayed in addition to the folders you, you added later and it will be displayed in a very messy way. So there is a solution to it. Solution that is very neatly. How do we do it then? First of all, you will need to create a user. If you know that there are, is a need for several users, y not just one user, you can create a group and all the users that will assign that group will have the settings defined through this group. But for the purpose of this demo, I will create one user and configure it. The configuration of the group is similar. I will create one user and set all the permissions and all the folders I want to associate and configure to it. Uh, first of all, I create the user. I will give him a name, user1. I can give him a password. Of course it is recommended, but for the sake of demonstration I will make it simpler. Now I need to associate folders. I need to create at least one directory and set it as home directory. First set a home folder but here it is. That's what you should do. Set a completely empty folder and define this one as home directory indicated by capital letter H. This is the empty folder FTP. Now we will see that this folder is empty. This is empty, as you can see. OK. So I choose it. And I give it some permissions. For files and directories. As suited for you. Now, I start adding additional folders. After I, I add a single folder, I need, I'll right-click it and set an alias to it. So once I created the folder, I must give it an alias. Only the home directory doesn't have an alias. To make it simpler, I will keep the same folder name as the alias name. But I can call it something else. I need to type slash and after it the name of the folder alias. Here I didn't type a slash so I get an error message. Now let's confirm, say OK and oh there is another one, folder 3 yes, set alias slash 
four there three okay now we'll try to connect to the server by local host FTP colon slash slash local host this is credentials I didn't put any password so I don't have but you should these are the folders that we that I have added as an example now I can add folders from different drive as well this is a folder from C drive name install now I'll call it with a slash install to make it simple okay now I'll refresh I should be here yes of course I can view I can set different views for different displays as I wish okay now let's see what happens if I do the thing if I set the home folder incorrectly okay so I'll add a folder folder which is not empty and have other folders and files into it inside it um, I set it as home folder as we can see now let's see what happens how it looks this is the wrong way to do it so this is the prog folder inside the prog folder there are the other folders that we've that I've added earlier we can see them and they are combined with other files and folders inside the prog folder so I'll fix it now now I'll fix it now when I, when I try to save it will give me a message I didn't uh, type any alias to the new folder to the prog folder so I'll do it that's it okay credentials again refresh and all the folders as should thank you very much for watching I hope you like this video and have a good day.